Hello everyone, welcome to the final day of the FTX Crypto Cup in Miami, Florida. And one of the highlights of the final round is Pragman and this win over Magnus Carlsen. Magnus Carlsen won the tournament, but Pragman and wins the match. Let's check it out. I guess Magnus Carlsen started with E4. Drag went to C5, knight C3, knight C6. There should be five. Magnus doesn't want to go into the main theory of the decision, so he goes for the sideline. Knight D4, knight F6. I'm oh, sorry, knight F3, D6 is the closest decision. Here, Magnus castles. Okay, if you take that knight on D4, so you take D4. Let's say you go knight E2, the queen goes in G5. That's the point. Yes, attacking the back pawn and the bishop. So you are not taking that to four knight. So castles a6, bishop to d3, knight back to c6. We have a repetition here a little bit. Just to save time, I guess. b3, d6. Bishop b2, knight f6. Rook e1, g6. e5, takes, takes. Takes, rook d5. Pragma is sacrifice as his pawn on c5 for his development. So he did cancel. Knight d7, the rook is also out of place. Rook c4, knight e5. Knight e2. Magnus has a bit on the vision, but Pragma has this counter discovered attack with knight f3. This kid never miss. Very tactical. Takes, takes. Now Magnus, one structure in front of the king is very bad now. Okay. It's Pragnus turn to execute the winning plan. A4 castles. Look into E4, bishop 7. E5, opening his bishop. Queen is going to H4. With threats of bishop to h6 and bishop f4. We'll see. Bishop b4 will be 8, protecting the second first. c4, finish 4. Right? Bishop b5, king h8. With the idea of f5. Queen e1, f5. Okay, Magnus. Very played queen e1, so you could try to go to face e5 up there, maybe knight c2 or knight g3 or knight c3 here. Or maybe he was trying to go for king h1 and g1. He went for king h1. b6 first, a bit slow. Here, Pragmanbe can go for f4. If, let's say your rook goes to e4. Then this rook f5, yeah? Queen to g1, for example, to protect h2, rook g5. If you play king f1, the bishop goes to h3. That's a big problem. Same as when you go back to queen one. Okay. If you have one, maybe you can go queen h5, yes, that queen f3. Rook has no way to defend f3. There's no rook e4, not even rook e3, thanks to the pawn. Four and five. Okay, we're going to go for b6. Took some time. Right, c3, rook b8, he has to protect e5. In G1, you're to sometimes the nerves get into your system when you're playing Magnus, yeah. B4 takes an E3, okay, change up. F4 takes, and Magnus here blundered. He did B6 again. He could still survive maybe with Queen E3. It's not yet so easy for Black here, but he did B6 and do this on the spot. B2. And what Queen D3 threatens a rook. And the pawn f3 takes, you need for check. Bishop a4, nice one. Taking one of the pawns. We need for check. Bishop to b3. We just tied up to the c4 pawn. Check. All right, bishop c2, bishop d3. Bishop c1. Queen a2 takes Magnus at the sacrifice. Two. Your two rooks to exchange two minor pieces. 
we should be four, b5, or oh, probably b8, where does the bishop, king h3, of course, takes d5, d4, of okay, f4. <laughs> Almost going to the finish line. Pins it to king g7, of course, protecting b6, magnus and b6. We got pregnant, I went for rook f7 again, no need, h4 was already winning. Okay, they went for rook f7, went on for a few moves. He wants to get rid of the pawn first. He said, the rest is just a matter of technique. Black has too much material. As long as we change queen, we need to, we need for check in here. Finally, Magda resigned. So here, it was a stunning upset, although it's not just the first time the pregnant to beat Magnus Carlson. Uh, he has beaten Magnus a few times, you know? And here he beats Magnus in a match. This kid has the mental strength, yeah? So he is a, he is a future world champion. It's not easy to beat Magnus in a match. Okay, this was a, the blitz playoff, by the way. There were 2-2 two, two in the weapon. He controlled his nerves. Well, what a game. My partner. Okay, Magnus won the tournament. But this was also an important match, especially for Pragnananda. Pragnananda gets second place after beating Magnus. Magnus with 16 points, Pragnananda with 15 points, a point behind the winner. So that was it. That was the story of the FTX Crypto Cup 2022 in Miami. Thank you guys for supporting our channel. Jared Rush and Jared Rush Entertainment on Facebook and YouTube. This is Cole Jolliver. Stay safe, everyone, and bye bye.